Welcome home, my darling. Mm. I've missed you while you were gone. Did you have a good day at work? Oh, dear. Well, I cannot say I am surprised to hear it was another rough day. I know that you have been working very hard lately. I mean... I know you work hard all the time, but especially lately. I think this is the first time in a week that you've gotten home before night. Well, I'll just have to make sure I spoil you enough to make up for lost time, won't I? <laughs> oh, my darling. You know that even if you tell me now, I'm going to spoil you anyways. Besides, you know it's pointless to try and lie to me. Those bugs under your eyes tell me exactly how worn out you are. But that is okay. You are home now. And I, your most amazing wife. I've prepared an evening that is all about you. Just leave it to me. But, for starters, how about you give me your jacket and go sit at the table. I've made you a wonderful hot pot to enjoy. Here, let me help you. There we go. Now then, you tell me exactly what you'd like to eat, and I will get it for you. Please don't be shy. I couldn't make up my mind if you would want pork or beef for the hot pot. So, I just went ahead and used both. I've also got some beans and potatoes and of course a bunch of lovely mushrooms I found in the forest. Doesn't hurt to have a wife who is 100 years older than you, does it? <laughs> You're just happy to have a wife who is as beautiful as me? Oh. <gasps> oh, there you go, being far too sweet to me again. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. That's what made me fall for you in the first place. Um, but, but don't try to distract me. I'm going to pamper you tonight, and there is no amount of sweet talking that is going to stop me. Here. How about we start with some meat and also some mushrooms? I promise only a few of them are poisonous. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Actually, I have no idea if any of them are poisonous. Oh, baby, you know I'm just joking. I would never poison you. I assure you, absolutely nothing in here will be anything less than delicious and poison-free. Now then, here we go. Some pork. And some chicken. And some perfectly not poisonous mushroom. And of course, I expect you to eat your vegetables as well. 
but I don't see anything wrong with spoiling you a bit by giving you the best of first. Okay, now say ah. Of course I need to feed you. I told you it is all about you tonight. I don't want you to have to do anything, including even have to lift your chopsticks. Now, don't be fussy and open your mouth. <laughs> do you like it? I have had a lot of experience making these sorts of things, but I still aim to get your seal of approval. You love it? <laughs> I'm happy to hear you say that. Well, have as much as you like. I want you to be absolutely stuffed. It makes you easier to catch and snuggle when you are fat and tired. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> That was delicious. And I'm so happy to see you ate a lot of it. I know that with how much you've been working lately, you're probably eating fast food or cup noodles for lunch every day. So, getting to make sure you have a proper home-cooked meal at the end of the day is extremely important to me. Now that your tummy is full, I think the next thing is to have you take a nice long bath. Absolutely not. A shower is not just as good. I told you, today is about taking care of you. And the shower just does not compare to a soak in the bath. I'll go ahead and get the water running. You can sit here and relax for a moment. Okay, sweetie, the bath is just about ready for you, and I got it to the perfect temperature. I even added some nice salts to make the water smell good, which by the extension means that you will smell good. No, I'm not saying you stink. You know how much I love your scent. I just wanted to make sure you have a little more luxury, so... Please no more arguing, my darling. Off you go. Into the tub. And you aren't allowed to come out until you are really relaxed, okay? My good boy. Mm. Now, go enjoy yourself. <laughs> well, I did say perfect temperature. But 
thought I didn't say for a what. I love him to pieces, but you can't expect me not to trick him with a nice buff. I'm sorry, my dear. I think I accidentally used the cold water instead of the hot. I'll fix it for you. Better? Good, good. <laughs> Finally done with your bath, sweetie? Good, good. I left you a fresh set of clothes there to change into. Just go ahead and head into the living room when you are finished changing. I'll be with you shortly. I'll just have some last minute adjustments to make. Adjustments for what? <laughs> well, now that would ruin the surprise. I'll show you soon enough, okay? Look at how handsome you are. And you are so fresh and clean too. You definitely look like you've managed to shake off some of that work fatigue. Why am I hiding behind the couch? <laughs> well, that's your surprise. Are you ready? Ta-da! Look! I got a new sweater. I was looking online for things to help make you happy. And loads of people said, that men really love women when they wear those sweaters. I do admit, it is very cute. And look, it even has room to accommodate my tail. Now then, how about you come here? Rest your head on my lap, darling. And let me take care of you. There we go. Nice and comfortable. You know I love when you rest on me like this. I love you so much. I will always be here for you. And I will always love you. I was so alone, so sad, but all of that changed when I met you, and every day since then has been so full of happiness. I just want to make sure that you know every day how much you mean to me. You love me too. <laughs> and what exactly is it about me that you love? Oh, yeah. I want you to massage my ego and tell me all the wonderful things about me. You like how sweet I am? Aww. And you think I am the most beautiful woman on earth? <laughs> my, my, you little charmer, you. 
and you like how soft my towel is? <laughs> you mean the style? It's still incredible to me how we met. I was going for a walk through the forest. And all of a sudden, a very handsome <laughs> and very drunk human wandered out of the bushes. And first I was. A little worried because, well, that's a typical response to someone suddenly falling out of a bash at you. But I'll never forget the look you gave me. Like you were hypnotized. You looked at me with sad. I was an angel because there was no way a creature of this world could be as beautiful as me. <laughs> and the rest this history. Even when we first met. You knew exactly what to say to me to make my heart melt. And even though I still can't help but tease you and pull pranks on you, you'll always be my one and only love. your eyes, my darling. I can see you can barely keep them open. Let me pamper you a little bit more. Help you relax.
Thank you for listening. If you are still here, please comment. Pink sweater is a killer. You can listen to the conclusion of this audio on my Patreon. Thank you so much for all the nice comments. And for your support on my Patreon. Which is allowing me to keep focusing on my channel. Special thanks goes to Alex Griffin, Brandy, David Fishkite, David West, Dio, Eric Sawyers, Fiofina Generat. General Damien James, Skull Crusher, Gregory, Green Slayer, Igor Milinchuk, Caden Ramos, Leo Lux, Lord Putano. Lomi Nox Lomina Red Demon Risky Place Ralph SL Forty Seven Sad Panda Shadow Killer Shaggy and Bound Tricky You Kill XXLL